Every day, tens of thousands of young people have to inject themselves to treat ongoing conditions. Whether it's young diabetics or those with growth hormone deficiency, it's important they take the right dose in the right way at the right time. But there are now more options other than the traditional syringe and needle for patients to take their medications. Auto-injector devices with on-screen prompts can help young people with their injections. But even for the most organised adult, this can be a major hassle. And for kids, it can be a big disruption to their lives. That's why an award has been launched for budding young designers to come up with new and clever ways to help them cope. And I'm off to meet someone to find out what it's like having to inject every day. Reese is one of 27,000 under 18 year olds in the UK with a condition which means they have to inject themselves regularly. Now this obviously requires careful planning even for the most simple of days out. So Reese, you have to inject yourself every day, don't you? Tell me what that's like. When I started, it wasn't easy, it was pretty difficult. But, I bet it was. But when I got used to it, it's a little, it's, it's easier now. So when you started, did your mum and dad do it for you? My mum did it for me. And so why did you start doing it by yourself then? Because I had to go on a school trip to the peak for a week if I wanted to, and I said I did. And did you remember to do it each time? Um, I managed. Yeah? And now, because of that, you're injecting yourself? Yeah. Every day? Yep. So how does it affect your daily life, having to inject? Well, number one, having to remember it, and, and being able to remember what dose, and remember to put it back in the fridge. And the device that you use to inject yourself with, tell me about that. Is it easy to use? It's okay, but it could be better because um, when I inject myself, the button that I have to press the fluid to go in, that's a bit difficult to use. But the button is very stiff, yeah? It's just stiff, so I have to push it against my legs sometimes. What else isn't so good? Well, how fast the fluid comes out. And why does that matter? Because that's the thing that hurts most. So if the fluid is coming out really fast, that's what makes it hurt? Yeah, and, and it needs to, if it's cold, it hurts more. But if it's OK, like in temperature, in temperature mm -hmm. it, would, it wouldn't hurt. And these awards, then, for people to, to try and design a better injection device, do you think that's a good idea? A very good idea. It's a very good idea, it is. So if you like art and design or fancy yourself as a designer or you have a friend that may be interested, then you can find out more information on our website, designforhealth.org.uk. Our panel of judges, which consists of a product designer from the Royal College of Art, are ready and waiting for your entry. So get creative, get designing and good luck. Mm -hmm.